Hi everyone, it's Lex from All Ginger to Me, and today I'm gonna teach you how to make the perfect curls, and really quick. I will be timing myself so I can give you an exact estimate, but this is a little trick I learned a couple years ago in college, and I've done it ever since. I get asked a lot how I do my curls, and people can't believe it because it's kind of weird. First, I wanna tell you guys how long my hair is. So naturally, my hair is about waist level. Um, it's a little like kind of beachy wavy. I do the agave treatment to defrizz it, so that also gets it a little more straight. Um, as you see, I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but I don't have thin hair and I don't have thick hair. It's just like normal. This isn't just the look I'm doing today. This is actually how you start the process. So what you wanna do, step one, is put your hair in this super high ponytail. You can even go higher than this. Um, it looks kind of silly, but I promise method to the madness. And uh, just trust me. Next, you wanna have a one inch iron. I like this one inch, but you can go bigger or you can go smaller. It doesn't matter with this method. I just find this one to be the most pretty, I guess you could say. Um, but if you think you're gonna be like somewhere that's really sweaty or hot, you might wanna go tighter than this. And then if you're somewhere where you feel like you really just kind of almost want a blown out look, I would go bigger than this. But this right here is the one inch. I'm actually showing you this one because I don't recommend it. <laughs> what a way to start off video. This is the NUME brand, NUME. And I found for me and my hair the, that it gets too hot. like burn your face off hot. <laughs> it goes up to 450 degrees, and at first I'm like, yeah, that's what I need. I think it almost like burnt my hair off, I'm not joking. And then I once just tapped it like that, like for one second. Normally with pass irons, it's like, you know, no big deal. But with this, I had like an, a mark, like <laughs> I look like crazy town. And that was from like one or two uses, and I'm like, nope, retiring that. Plus, got on sale because girl likes to sale, but it's way too pricey, you know. Mm -mm, you don't need this girl. Here we have the Con Air that I got seven years ago for $20. I know. And um, I really recommend something like this that you just get at your local Target or your local Walmart. I, I mean, it's just like lasted me. It's really lasted me. But if you think you have a really tight curl pattern, then, okay, maybe you need to splurge and get something that goes up to 450. I actually, oh no, it does. It, no, well, it says 30. I don't know, ladies, okay? It has an on and off button, it works. What more could I ask for? Now, I begin. So what you're wanting to do is you're gonna wanna put all your hair on one side like this, okay? Then you're gonna take a section the smaller the section, the tighter the curl pattern's gonna be. I normally like to do it so the layers match. It just makes it easier to curl. There we go. There she is. Okay. As you see, I kinda have something that's all the same length. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take it like a ribbon, so flatten it, okay? Get your iron. Go here at the base all the way to, I use a scrunchie so it doesn't make a line. You don't have to use a scrunchie, okay? Um, you can use anything, you're gonna rubber band, but don't because that rips your hair. I part my hair this way. I have my part on my right and then it swoops that way. If you're like me, you take this here, remember the ribbon, and you just curl it around the barrel in this direction. Now, if your hair parts the other way, you, you curl the opposite direction because you want it kind of like floating back in your face like a faucet. <laughs> but seriously, it, it'll look better. Um, so if you're like me and you like part it on your right, you're gonna do that and flop over. Probably should explain that even better. <laughs> Sorry, if you hear my dog barking, someone ring the doorbell and it's like crazy. So you just repeat the step. And I'm gonna explain it even <laughs> more thorough. Hello, that's what you're here for. Okay, I got another like that. And you ribbon it, okay? Like I said, if you part your hair on your right like I do, you're gonna take it like this and just roll back. Roll back and keep, try to keep it as flat as possible the entire time. Okay. You're just gonna wanna take 
and just get as close to the iron as possible. 10 seconds. Let it drop naturally like that. I actually like to hold the curl then to my head like this while it's still a little hot and then you just boop, you dump it on the other side. I like to dump it on the other side so it kind of keeps, this has been curled already, this is what needs work. All right, so I'm gonna speed this up and let's see, I'm gonna actually put on my faithful timer and so I can give you guys an exact estimate of how long this technique takes. I feel like it normally takes me 10 minutes, but like, does anyone actually time themselves? I don't know, not me. Okay, and we begin. The curling process took, took five minutes, ladies. That's right. Look like a superstar. Real quick. $20 iron. Bam. Okay, but we're not. Okay, we're not done. All you guys have to do is like this. Shake it. Shake it like a Polaroid picture. Come on. Okay. And then, bam. You're ready. You are ready to tackle the day. You're ready to go to work. You're ready to go pick up your kids. You're ready to go to, you know, school. You're ready, You're ready for anything. <laughs> anyway, guys, sorry I'm being silly. I didn't get much sleep last night, but I hope you are enjoying this video. Sometimes here, you might need some retouches because it only goes a little bit on the bottom, on the bottom layer. Um, it's not hard to do. I forgot to also mention that I sprayed my hair with a heat protector before I started. I just used the Chi. Oh my gosh, I feel so lame doing this. Oh, <laughs> it works. This, I like it, but hey, use whatever you use. You don't need to follow me, but this is what I use. So ladies, as you can see, five minute curls. It is super easy. Now my hair has a slight wave pattern to it. If your hair is curly or has a slight wave pattern, you don't need hairspray. I go out like this and this, I kid you not, lasts me three days. It's kind of crazy. Um, if your hair is a little thinner or maybe straighter, you're gonna wanna use some hairspray. Um, and then a little trick of the trade, aren't around people or you really wanna maintain the curl but you're like studying or you're in the car or whatever, you just kinda wanna give it that little extra bounce. Just take your hair in a bun, see which way, because we all curled it the same way, right? We curled all the curls the same direction. You're gonna go like that, and then you're just gonna do a little bun in the back. Real easy, real spiraled bun. Take something, now this, you need a scrunchie for. Why? Because then you don't leave marks on your hair. Let's see, let's see if this works. You guys see it? Very simple but it gets the job done. And then, you know, you get to your destination. I swear, back in the day, I mean, I'd roll to the club with my scrunchie in, tuck it in my prayers, be like, bam! Oh, wait. Bam! Oh, wait. Y'all, I need to work on this YouTuber stuff, but thank you guys for watching. Um, this has been Flex from All Ginger to Me, and yeah, thank you. Enjoy the video? Click here to subscribe, and click here to watch the next video. Thanks.